Guys, really quick update today. It is the final week of Festival of the Lost, of course, with the weekly reset today. And on top of that, the game gets a new hotfix. This is 6252. And so we'll cover a few of the changes in the video. Quickly though, initially, they mentioned for Eververse stuff this week, there's a pretty cool new shader called Flower Child, and it's a pretty wild looking thing. But it's worth mentioning this is an animated shader. So you can see sections on the armor right here have these cool moving patterns. That's available for 300 Bright Dust this week in the store. Obviously with it being an event thing, it won't be available again until next year. So if you like those very funky colors, be sure to pick that up. It's generally actually a pretty good week for the Eververse store right here. There's the retrograde Taurus ship from this year, as well as this Star Horse mask, and some other items that have been available for silver before this week, including the Buster Ray emote. That one's 3,250 Bright Dust. There's also the Papercraft Ghost Shell for Festival this year, and the Majestic Winnie Sparrow, which is the Star Horse Sparrow there for 3,000 Bright Dust, and the Promethean Preload Ornament for the Grand Overture. So one of the better festival weeks in the Eververse store. I should mention though, I have seen players saying that they're only getting 100 Bright Dust for festival bounties after the update, whereas it should be 200. So just bear that in mind as you may miss out on some. Hopefully Bungie will say something about that soon, but it sounds like the patch today may have reversed what they did in the last update. But for the hotfix today, for raids and dungeons, Bungie fixed a problem where dungeon solo flawless triumphs had the incorrect description, and it now clarifies that players need to do it in a single activity session, which is how they normally work, but the description is now correct. For gameplay and investment though, they fixed a problem where Lord of Wolves was increasing ability damage in addition to its own, and so the weapon is now re-enabled. And they also fixed the problem where the extra 20% bonus to aim assist fall off was not removed from Rangefinder, and so the Rangefinder nerf is now essentially in the game. Plus there was a problem where the Angel's Gleam and Flower Child shaders had incorrect sources listed in collections. So guys, just a quick update today I know. But I figured we'd jump in and break it down. As always, I hope the video has been useful. Let us know in the comment section if you're grinding any festival stuff in this final week of the event. But otherwise, as always, cheers for tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.